Oh, yeah, he is. Um, Kate, talk me through your test. How was it? Uh, he was good, mostly. Um, the shoulder and left, he got a little tense in, which he can do sometimes. Um, but I was really happy with all the canter work and um, this is quite a lot of atmosphere for him so I was really happy with how he handled it. Yeah, I mean you said you'd gone to Wellington yes. after it being the year to get him used to that. Do you feel like that paid off? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, he was nothing like this at Wellington. He was a bit of a wild thing. <laughs> <laughs> and of course you've been doing so much pure dressage back home in the States as well. Yes, yeah. Uh, I think it's really important, particularly with, uh, here's a small thoroughbred. Um, so particularly to, just to get him in the ring and just find out what the judges do and don't want to see. Yeah, and now you put all that behind you and we concentrate on tomorrow. Ah, oh, thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's plenty to do on the course. Since I was talking to you yesterday, I've walked it obviously again and I got some pretty good plans and it's looking a little bit smaller now. I saw Eric Smiley helping you. Have you yes. had help from him in the States? Yes, I, I have. He, uh, Beth Sokol, who's a fantastic supporter of mine, brings him over to America a few times a year and I love riding with him. He just really makes sense and is very logical with his advice and the horses like him. So, And I respect him a lot and so it's always... I always ride better around people I respect. What did he say to you on the flat and what are a couple of things that he said to you about tomorrow? Uh, on the flat he just wanted me to keep keep Libby here forward um, through my transitions in particular which I found useful. I do tend to think of a downward transition as a slowing down pace but it does help to think of it as more of a forward pace particularly with, with this horse. Um, and tomorrow he said just ride it like cross country. <laughs> Perfect. Good advice. Well, we'll be crossing our fingers and we'll be watching tomorrow. We'll speak to you then. Good luck. Thank, Thank you, you very much.